what? To be happy? And to want something? But since I'm happy now, it doesn't matter how that thing turns out because I'm still going to be happy. Hi. <laughs> how are you doing in this moment? You are so beautiful. You're... Without you, there wouldn't be anything. You make the desire desirable. Without you, there would no, there wouldn't be full and beautiful. The first time I seen this picture, it made my heart sore. It made my heart happy. It makes you smile. It, it's something that, that is a treasure. In the trove, it's raccoon with a spyglass and a lighthouse in the back and he's collapsing it like he's just seen all that he's need to see that that he's ready to go to the next thing isn't it isn't it funny how you could feel so beautiful <laughs> and how you know you're so amazing that when you walk into a room, you know everything stops. That everybody just looks at you. They don't look with their eyes, they don't look with their heart, they don't even look with their soul. They don't know how to look. It's that they forgot how to look. Like, they just awestruck and don't know what to do. They forgot how to pick up 
the glass and drink. They forgot. They didn't recall how to pour as they were pouring. And they almost spilled the cup of water. And the thing that they were pouring the jug. They, it's. Have you ever just wa wanted to just say, hey, <laughs> all you could do is laugh because it's how funnyly silly it is about the whole thing of just what it is of how things are. Like, they're just like... <laughs> I had such a beautiful day today. It was. It, somebody asked me, you know, I don't quite understand your outlook. It just, I, I just, I, it just, it just, ah, um, and. They didn't really finish because I kind of cut them off, but they wanted me to because they didn't say anything. But you know how, like, just somebody wants you to because they don't know what to say, but they know you do? And they just want you to take the lead and be a leader? It... I said... What? What? To be what? happy? To be happy? To be happy? And... And to want something, to want something, to want something, but but since I'm happy since now, I'm happy since now, I'm happy now, it doesn't matter how that matter how it doesn't matter how that out, thing turns out still because it's still gonna be happy because it's still gonna be happy. And he just looked at me like like I just walked into the room. It's so funny how life is, isn't it? How you can feel small, but then you feel big, but then you never, ever feel small ever again. But you know what, how people feel and what they're going through? And then they, like, just <laughs> don't know what to do. And they feel that they're stuck and they feel that they have no options. Even though they do, because they're just looking at the, that one picture that echoes out to them, that makes them feel what they're feeling. It's, it's like as if they're... <laughs> There, there isn't really a word to describe it when it's a feeling, when all you could ever do is fail. <laughs> it was like two days ago, and I was walking, and these people started laughing at me. And do I? <laughs> I do. I've been wanting to make a video with my shirt like this. You can see the tag. I was going to shave, but it's... They, they were laughing at me. It was a good laugh. Like, it was just... Like, it was... You just, you laugh. You, you laugh or you look away because you don't know what to say or you just like because <laughs> I'm sure people that look at me they don't know what to say and that's okay 
you know, I'm glad I got those people to laugh. Because, I mean, look, look at this. Like, really? I got a Hitler thing going, like, and I got, like, I love it. I, I honestly love it. And I'm sorry, this new nail thing where these are long. And I, I, I did think about doing where these are long and then these are short and then these are long and then these are, that these are long, these are short, these are short and these are long. Um, and then my nails would just be long. But then, um, it, I don't know, I like it where it's, these are short, and these are long. I painted this one, it has a whole bunch of different colors on it. I just, I had such a good day, to, it was such an amazing day. Like, everything was right. Everything went in such a flow. It was amazing. It truly was. And all you could do is cry. Because you could, you know how beautiful it was. A happy cry. You know? Like, just... Or it, you know that... <laughs> there's nothing, no matter what. No matter what. No matter what. You are beautiful. And nothing can get in your way. That you are unstoppable. And you know what? I haven't been wearing my crystal. The one I wear on my neck with that dragon and that peace sign. I haven't been wearing them for like three days. And it feels great. It's like, it's me. It's nothing else. It's not some other assistance of anybody else. It's, it's me. It's me. And I'm truly happy. I'm happy. I ex it, I think it comes down to I'm accepting myself. I'm not rejecting myself. Like, there are... Like, I guess that's part of it. Like, why do people reject themselves? Like, they don't know... They don't see their beauty. Like, that's okay. That's them. I see their beauty. I see them. But, it's... Like... Again today, in the moment of this this Easter day, um, the, the day we're supposed to like undertake the understanding of the wisdom of Jesus, is what I like to say. Today I started at least. <laughs> That's a double me stop off. Um, but just. It was just, like, the ego thing, the ego thing, the ego thing, like, you should get rid of your ego, you should release your ego, it's, you shouldn't have an ego, it's not good, are you kidding me, you are, aren't you, just kidding, but the ego is what you came here for, to expand yourself. And in a way, I think divine that has never been in the ego is scared of what an ego is because they don't really understand it. They don't understand the amazingness of it. Um, I wrote... Before I started watching the movie I got for Easter, um, The Perks of a Wallflower, it is such a beautiful movie. It, it, uh, honestly, I don't cry that often, but Mars Needs Moms always makes you cry. It's such, it's a, such a beautiful movie, and this, and. The perks of being a wallflower is such a beautiful movie, too. But I wrote... I'm not going to say the whole thing that I wrote. But um, I wrote... The ego loves... Showcases that love 
so it is love because it's holding that love because it that's what it is um of the part because it's the part because it just is there's nothing else there the divine showcases their love because it acts as from one point of view not the unique point of view which to me when somebody asks you to get rid of the ego they're asking you to give up yourself to to put you in a space of um disillusion and under an un understanding of it of um of rejecting yourself because once you reject something of yourself you reject those gifts and those skills of what it is a gift and that knowledge and all that is and then you push out your porcupine you're starting porcupine you are an endless ball of energy but if you have so many porcupines so many rejections um, you're using up your energy really really fast and from my understanding of all the spirituality kind of thing you don't reject yourself <laughs> from my perspective of what mother father God is mother father essence which is God um, is essence it's where we get our standpoint of who we are to the marking the beginning that we can go back to as, as a family tree kind of thing um, and then you break down to the individual and this and what it and this humanity has really been the key of that now you could control your world and view it the way you want to it's all a viewpoint it's all your perception it's up to you how you view your world what are you gonna be happy because you can be happy and see both of them and you can be sad to see both of them you can go back and forth from neutrality but it's just funny to me when somebody says you should give up your ego because it's like I said it's they it's like a way of controlling you of something you learn they you don't need to learn you don't need to have that anymore you don't need that strength because it's like I said before mother father essence God has worded and created that of needing you to keep it alive them alive why why would you do it off of somebody else isn't that the basis of what spirituality is it's like it's completely backwards <laughs> like it feels as if humanity and ego was on something but divine didn't want that after it found out what it is it was scared it's something new it's not something it's ever done before it's scared it's found out itself and now it's got to take the next step basically and it doesn't want to it's fearful so it created this to be fearful to understand what fear is and it's only going to take the next step if it's willing I know I'm taking the next step if it wants to or not because I control my world and that's another thing like I have that connection thing going on the higher places you believe in it or you don't believe in it you still have people talking to you regardless you believe in them whatnot you're part of the whole and the whole of the part but channeling what you want to call it label it whatnot use um, but I made a video and it wasn't one of my most referable videos at least starting off at the end it got really nice it was like just all perfect one second of it got saved 
um, cause some reason I, it comes down to my vibration, my essence, my will, my purity was so high. My energy was so high that it was above this earth, this density and stuff like that in a way. And in another way, the people that are higher up felt that it wasn't a preferable video that they think that I should display in a way of doing that. Now, I understand that I create my, my events, but did I, I didn't say, I'm going to make this video and then I want to be destroyed. That was my higher self, basically, that said, whoa, I don't like how I'm acting. And I've heard, oh, the higher self doesn't have any disagreements of any sort. No resistance, basically. They're just going to be in, experience it, to add to the thing. But like I said, I feel that it's coming down to a controlling kind of thing. And I'm not getting controlled anymore. And that's one reason why I feel so liberated, freed, doing my own thing no matter what. But as I was saying, it was like, a, it was probably like a half hour, it doesn't, half hour video or something like that, but it, somebody deleted my pearl trees and I was just furious at how much effort and so, how much organization, somebody just deleted it all. And then the way it was like, I could recover it, but I only recovered so much of it. And then it did recover it from just how I had it. So it's really silly how it got made up. And then the feedback button didn't work. So I had it, it wasn't smart enough and wasn't intelligible enough and understand it enough of being able to look in the URL and find the email address. And so I, I still put it on a comment so everybody can see it. Then I emailed it to them too still. But I didn't really ask for that either, but it was okay. In a way, it's good that that happened. But I got to the point that I was so pissed off. They were like, you need to calm down. You, I was like, no, I'm not calming down. You don't understand how unpreferable this is, how unacceptable this is. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. Why didn't you do it where, let me upload it to YouTube, because I upload my videos to private because this video is upside down, and then I sometimes change the I'm feeling lucky or whatever and it changes the light to more of like vividness and just it's nice or and um so those are the only things that I edit it about um if you want to say the whole captions and whatever is editing too but um I guess special effects but they didn't even let me do that and I didn't decide that and I got to the point where it was just like are you kidding me? You don't know who I am. You don't understand me, apparently. That wasn't me. That was my higher self. And they're like, oh, that, that's true. It, it wasn't you. It was your higher self. So I didn't decide it. They say that I have this free will. I don't have that. I do now. Yes, I do. You guys don't control me. But it's like... They put you to test to see how you can be because they created you. It's not your higher self. You're a creation and they're testing you. It's like the, this big thing that people say and it's just feeding into it. You might think I'm crazy. You might think I'm not. You might not understand what I'm saying, but in a way you do. It's okay. It is. As long as you're happy, then what doesn't matter? As long as you're being kind, what does it matter? You're not doing anything wrong. Somebody said you only need the first three commandments. Don't steal. Don't kill and work hard or something like that. I think those are the three. Basically, don't do harm. And, you know, because if you don't do it, nobody else will. How are you supposed to perceive it if you're not the one doing it? Yeah, somebody could tell you. And assist you in the understanding like don't get don't go to that fire you're gonna get burnt and they give you that cup full of water but you dumped it out and got burnt so you filled it up yourself but it's <laughs> it's funny and then I disconnected myself from mother father essence and everybody's like 
and I reconnected it. And they're like, oh my gosh. And I was like, you guys need to calm down and be, you need to calm down. And, like, and I was like, you better give me some replicators up in here and make me happy and do what I want. Because you have no idea what I'm controllable of. First off, they attempted to like deny me whatever, like the light and stuff like that. Oh no, I was like, ah, oh, no, you're not doing that. You're going to give it back to me. Because I never said I didn't want it or stop it. You know, this is very, like, very truthful. Because I am being very truthful. I don't lie. Oh, it says, it's don't lie. Don't steal, don't lie, and work hard. That was, that's the, that was the three commandments. You shouldn't kill anybody either. Well, unless they really want you to. That's a whole other thing. Reincarnations and all that. Depending what you view. And who says I'm the only one that feels this way? It's just not openly out there. Possibly because they don't want you to understand it. What kind of conspiracy? And I'm talking about isn't the isn't a conspiracy truth, but doesn't it's not verbal truth. It's like I, I was at the park today and somebody was playing football, soccer, and I was like. Why every other country calls it a football? Why doesn't America call it a football? And then call a football a handball. Like, what? <laughs> you know, just like, I said it like probably six times or something. But I was just so like, what? 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 And I also said five things. You only need five things. You thought two, you need five, actually. <laughs> that was a knee slap already. Okay. Water, food, shelter, transportation, and communication. You put the water, if you don't change it to where, like I said in my, oh, I didn't say that because that video didn't get saved. I did say that, actually. But you make it to where the water can get put onto the buildings. And, um... So it all catches that natural rain, so it doesn't even do, need to be drugged or whatever. Because stuff doesn't really need to be drugged. Um, another way of control and stuff like that. But, um... If you let it, and if you don't control that energy, because you just want to be a victim and not a, a creator, um... But you take the canals that are now, you put solar panels on them, and then you put a turbine in the water, hydro, biotics, I I said it's, but so it flows and it still moves and makes more power than just that. And so the, um, the solar power panels keep it from getting evaporated faster. Um... And it stays colder, too. So you don't need to heat it up or get it cold. You put your food inside so you grow it all year round. So you don't need to drug it and whatnot. And you also can do it where it's... When you harvest the food, you put it in a bucket and it goes down. And the weight of the food makes it go down. And just the motion of it going doing itself makes it more power in that building, right? What did I say? Shelter? The buildings. If replicators, you can replicate it, unreplicate it, then you really wouldn't need those other ones because you just get it. Um, what is this? Transportation? Arizona, if you didn't know, is a grid state. A grid state is so... It's like a checkerboard kind of thing. So all the other states around it can just link it up and you don't they don't have to like do some weird thing. Um 
if it is a grid state on a checkerboard, why wouldn't you have like a busing or tram actually where when it crisscrosses the 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 railing would just switch turn um that tram also can redistribute its momentum into a magnet so it's all magnetized actually <laughs> um and it's also solar power and um can get caught by the rain and well people are walking around on it wouldn't that create more power Okay, trans or um, communication. Give everybody like a cell phone or something like that. Something that's not really a back created technology from our space brethren. But pretty much, I know I'm gonna say a lot and. I know I started this video off the exact way it was meant to be, because everything's meant to be. But I cut my cat hair today with scissors. <laughs> it was a long haired cat. Hair in my mouth, in my teeth. I just couldn't take it anymore. Honestly, I was just done. And I know I could have I could have brushed it, him, her. I could have brushed her. Rice crispy. Isn't that a unique name? And if you heard that, that was her. And yes, I can understand my cat and my dog. I understand animals. Bottom of the bell. But you are... You're so beautiful. You're so amazing. You just need to see it. Don't doubt yourself. Numerologic, synchronistic, number, symbols. I got a squirt gun, and it has a 32 on it. And I'm a 23 years old. At least that's my perception all can be. Even though I'm just really young, actually. But my years of experience here, on the name that I can go by of Craig, is 23. Even though I'm timeless. And very powerful. And it's kind of setting the bar high. 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 Har. 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 And just think funny things. And do funny things. Like, they're like, so Craig, are you going to like walk home? And I was like, no, I'm going to levitate. Why not do humor? Why not funny, find the funny thing? And I was talking to somebody else about the whole five things. And they were like, well, what about sex and drugs? Like cigarettes and alcohol. Yeah, weed and all the other ones too. But I was like, well, that would go under shelter as sex and water and food. Insane. I'm gonna go, um, but you are truly, truly beautiful. And if you don't know that, well, find that out. Because I can say it all I want. I could be one of those people that are just in a conspiracy, but I don't, I'm not gonna call it that, am I? Because you think it's all weird. But find your beauty, find yourself, love yourself. Honestly, you're so beautiful and amazing. What did I say? You're the full and beautiful? You're the D and the desire? And the ires? Truly. Does that ever make you think of those, like, kids that, like, whatever kids, and she, like, puts up her hair, and then she gets all really smart, or, like, starts showcasing her smart? <laughs> Just what that made me think of. That's a double news. That's, 
That's a triple knee sapa. Okay, bye.